day everyone let us try to solve this geometry problem now we're given a quarter circle with radius AO and CO along radius AO we're going to locate point M and connect it to point B along arc AC to form segment BM with a measure of seven units and segment BM is perpendicular to segment BC with a length of 24 units. Now we're going to find the length of OM. Now before we are going to solve, notice that the angle formed by segments BM and BC is 90 degrees because of the fact that the two segments are perpendicular. And aside from that, the angle or the vertex of the angle is actually found along the circumference of the circle. So this is actually, if this could have been an entire circle, this angle here could have been an inscribed angle. And it intercepts an arc of, nine, of 180 degrees. And when we talk about 180 degrees, that is actually a semicircle. And a semicircle is actually twice... A quarter circle. That means if you produce one of these quarter circles, we're going to create a semicircle. Now, in order for us to be able to create a semicircle that actually has the same length of this quarter circle, all we have to do is to draw a mirror of this quarter circle. You just imagine this quarter circle being flipped over to the right like this. So this left Im right image is the mirror of the left image. So this segment is the mirror of this one. This segment here is a mirror of this one here. And this radius here is the mirror of this radius here. Now, we're going to solve for OM. In order to do that, we're going to draw this segment CM. And this segment CM forms a right triangle with segment BM and segment BC. And CM is actually the hypotenuse of the triangle formed. So we can solve using the Pythagorean theorem. CM is equals to the square root of 24 squared plus 7 squared. Doing some algebraic manipulations, we can come up with CM is equals to 25. So this is equals to 25 here. Now, since this part is a mirror of this one here, then this side will be equal to this side. And since this is 25, this is also 25 here. Now notice that if we consider now this triangle, this is also a right triangle because of this right angle here. And the hypotenuse or the legs is BC, which is 24, and this one, which is 32 because it's 7 plus 25. And this is now the hypotenuse. Now, the hypotenuse is consists of this part, which is a mirror of OC. And since OC is a radius, that means this is also a radius. So if we name the radius as R, this will also be R. So that means... This is R here, and this is R. That means the hypotenuse now is consists of two R's, so that measure will be 2R. So solve R using the Pythagorean theorem. We have 2R squared is equal to 32 squared plus 24 squared. Then doing some algebraic manipulations, we can come up with 2R is equal to square root of 1,600. 2R is equal to 40. R is equals to 20, so we now have the measure of R. Now, as you can see, this one here and this one, the quarter circle actually measures 90 degrees. Because when you say quarter, a circle measures 360. Quarter is you divide by 4, so this arc here measures 90 degrees. Now, this angle is formed by two radii 
of a circle, that means this is a central angle, and the central angle is always equal to the measure of the intercepted arc. Since the intercepted arc is 90, this angle here is 90. Therefore, we have this right triangle here. So now, this right triangle consists of OM, which is the measure that we are looking for. We can now solve this using the Pythagorean theorem. 20 squared plus OM squared is equal to 25 squared. This one, because again, this two have equal measures. Since this is 25, this will also be 25. And this is now the hypotenuse in terms of this triangle. That's why we have this relationship here. Then... Doing some calculations, we can come up with OM squared is equal to 225. And finally, getting the square root of OM squared and getting the square root of 225, we come up with OM is equal to 15. And that is our answer. So that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more challenging geometry problems. Thank you so much. Enjoy learning.